everyone, Sonia here, and you are watching Pouring with Sonia. So I've done one bottle pour before. I did a bottle pour where you put the color in and it goes down in this really cool design. And then I did from that a reverse dip and created this fun little flower. So it was fun. But then I saw that Sheely from Sheely Carruthers from the Sheely Art Bloom Technique, wonderful class, highly recommend it. She did one and I didn't see the end result, but I saw that she said that she did a bottle pour and you could tell there was these five little petals and then she put some cell activator in the middle of each of those and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to try that. So that's what we're going to try today. Um, so thank you, Shelly Carruthers for the inspiration. Um, these are the same colors I used for my quadrant swipe that I did the other day, um, only I didn't use the interference colors with it. So I have, um, these are all Joe Sonia colors. This is the aqua. Now what I did do is add a little bit of color art pigment to each one to just deepen them a little bit and give a little bit of shimmer since I'm not doing the, um, interference colors. So for the aqua, I added a little bit of blue and green kiwi. And so it did. I put a little extra green in to kind of give it a little bit more of a green aqua instead of a blue aqua. Then I have the ultramarine blue deep, which is a semi-transparent with a little bit of color art just to make that color a little more pop. Purple matter, which is one of my favorites. It's really like, it says purple, but it's really like a red violet. That's a semi-transparent. So I've got two semi-transparents and opaque. And now I have two transparents. The Indian Yellow, which is one of my favorite yellows by Joe Sonia. And then Transparent Magenta. Because a nice hot pink is always fun in a painting with bright kind of rainbowish colors. So I'm going to get these colors out of the way. All right. Then I have... Some black cell activator, which is mixed up with my Australian brand of Floetrol, which is different than the U.S. brand. It's quite thin. Um, mix it up in like a three to one ratio with Arteza Mars Black. That's what this is. Quite thin. There's no mound. There's nothing. Okay. But by comparison, if I were to just pick up the paint here, it's going to leave a mound. Much thicker, but it still drizzles off real nice and easy. I'm going to give these a quick stir, set them aside. So what I thought I'd do is pour my um, paints down over my bottle cap and then put my cell activator on, pour something in the middle maybe, and then maybe spin it out. So I have my Lazy Susan here. If I want to tilt it, I can. There's, there's nothing, no harm, no foul. I may just want to tilt it. But also... Um, I'm ready to go with my Lazy Susan. So what I have for my Lazy Susan, because I don't have, I just have a regular little, you know, uh, kitchen quality Lazy Susan. And so if I put something on here, it will want to fall off. So what I do is I, this is the double stick tape I have for when I do records on here. I take my tiles off and I just set my records on that. But when I'm doing a canvas with the frame, I put a little piece of double tape, double stick foam tape on the back of these tiles so that I can kind of create, I can lay it in here and kind of snap it in. It's nice and tight. And then I can spin as fast as I want and it's not gonna come off. It's on there pretty good because I snapped it in. So that's what I have there. I just thought I'd show you my little hack for that. Um, I can spin it pretty quick and it's not gonna fly off because I've had that happen before. So what I thought I'd do is put this down, pour my pillow around it so that when I lift it up, hopefully maybe the pillow comes in a little bit. I don't know. And if not, then I'll pour some more um, into the middle and we'll go from there. But I thought I would try this first. So I'm going to pour my pillow. This is kind of in the center, basically. And if you want to think about, okay, my colors are going to come off here, you can kind of line it up. Oh, I want it to go to the corners instead of to the top. You can, you know, think about that before you lay this down. <clears throat> and I start by putting a nice amount here. I might have to get some more of my pillow paint. I think I might. This is my second pour today, so I filled up my cup, but I think I am definitely going to need a little more. 
And I'll tell you, my pillow paint is, um, where did I put it? <laughs> okay. My pillow paint is the Sherwin-Williams Color To Go. It's just their sample quart of satin paint. It's quite thick, and I quite like a quite thick paint for my pillow paint. So that works for me. Thank goodness that was mostly empty because I just dropped my little cup on the floor. I don't need a whole bunch more, but a little bit. Let me put this back over here. And then sometimes you'll see that I will do some of this technique on a black pillow. And I just go to Sherwin-Williams store and ask them, give me that sample paint, a sample quart, and they tint it black for me. Okay, so there's I'm gonna put a little bit extra around the middle. Uh-oh. You know what? I got some on this and probably shouldn't have, but we'll see how it goes. It's only on a little bit, so let me should have been more careful when I was putting this down. I got a little bit of pillow paint in this one groove here, so I'm just going to kind of clean that out. So I was busy talking and chit-chatting and giving you my little tips and tricks, and then I, I stopped paying attention. My mistake. All right, and I don't know if it would have made a huge difference, but I do kind of want them all to kind of flow down the same. <clears throat> so now let's think about the order because I don't want, like let's say having that little bit of pillow paint in that groove would have made it flow down faster than the rest. And so then I would have had a bigger puddle on this one than the rest of them. So I just kind of wanted to clean that out so they all kind of hopefully pour down at the same rate. Now, I'm going to have black on the top, so I want to think about what color I want to pour down last that I want next to my black, and I think I might want my magenta because I like that. Black and pink together, because why not? So maybe I will start with blue, then green, yellow, purple matter, magenta, or maybe I should do blue, purple matter, green, yellow, magenta. So it's kind of going from darkest to brightest, or thereabouts. <laughs> so I think we'll try that. Give it a quick little stir. And I want to be sure I leave a little bit. I don't want to pour all this out because I'm going to want a little bit in case I need to do the middle as well. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little in the middle and then kind of start it down each side. And I wanna see that I got, I think a little bit less on these sides. So when I see that they're all kind of hitting down there, then I will call it quits and go on to the next color. And so if I'm not sure what's nice about this little Lazy Susan, so basically what I want to do is make sure I've got the same amount of this initial puddle. And I can see I've got this one right here is a little bit bigger than, say, this one. So I can even come up here and just do a little more right here. And just kind of, not a lot, help it down. Just a little bit. Okay, there's my blue. Now we're going to follow that with the purple matter. Pour it in the middle and just help it down the sides. And I think that my, you know, my bottle, I don't have it cut exactly even, so I think it's tilting a little this way, which probably further complicates or adds to the um, puddles not pouring out exactly the same. Mm, let's see. I don't know why I'm carrying or trying to get this so close. It's just going to get all blown out anyways, right? But 
So now let's do the green. Okay. Make sure we've got a little bit of that green going down there on every side. Maybe a little bit more here and here. Okay. And a drizzle more here. Drizzle. Just a drizzle. All right. Now we'll do the yellow. <laughs> I don't know, guys, how this is going to turn out. It's only my second bottle pour. First one was okay. But I thought how fun this might be to try. <clears throat> Give that a minute to go down. I think these bright colors, colors will be a nice break. I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay, and finally, let's do the pink. All right. And I don't know if leaving the center without any pillow under it is going to be a mistake or not. But I sometimes have too much in the center when I do these um, Lazy Susan pours. And then they just keep distorting and changing. And I want to try not to have too much in the middle. Now, what I think I'm going to need to do is just kind of help that paint that's sitting on top down and I'm just going to I tied my hair back because I knew I was going to be blowing so I'm just going to blow straight down to kind of push it out the sides hopefully and down each side I blow And so now I've kind of, I just blew down the middle and then blew down each side a little bit just to try and help it down. Make sure I'm not leaning in that. Okay. Now the big question is what's going to happen when I lift this up? My hope would be that it would kind of come to the middle and meet, but it might not. So let's lift. And see what happens. The pillow's going to the center, so I feel like that's okay. Just don't know if the colors will go to the center. It's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to rinse that. I don't know why I'm trying to wipe that bottle clean. Okay, so there's paint in the center. But what didn't go in the center is all of my color, but I don't know if I want to add a lot more. So I think what I'll do, where's my barbecue skewers? Here they are. I keep some barbecue skewers handy. I might take this other end and just try and nudge, nudge. The thing is, I don't want um, that pillow paint getting mixed in because that will cause the colors to really dilute and I don't want that. So let me think about the center of the flower. I maybe would want a little bit lighter. So I might do pink and then yellow on top. Okay. So with that in mind, I think I'll put down a drop of this purple matter here and make a real small little puddle. Okay, and then the bright pink on top of that. And then the yellow on top of that. I don't even care if there's a little bit of white. I wish I 
maybe hadn't. <laughs> I think that twisted it anyways, though, so I don't think I did that. I think I just swirled a little bit there and a little bit of the yellow here. Let's see if we can nudge, nudge it back. All right, so with that being done, and because I specifically don't want to get too much in the middle that doesn't spin out or tilt out. So now what I want to do is take a little bit of black cell activator. Probably should do white, but put this in the middle and blow. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it all is what I'm going to do, I think. Hmm. Maybe I should get my little cheat tool out. So what I might do is just put this in kind of a line along here and get my little blowing tool here and blow it out. Blow it straight in. <laughs> okay. And now let's take this. I can definitely blow a lot better with that little tool than with my mouth. Bring it right along here to maybe the edge of the pink and blow it out. And let's put some more here. It's getting crazy, getting a little crazy. Okay, and let's blow it out. Blow it out. And last one. You can get much there. Whoops. And blow it up. Might try a little more there. Just because I got a little bit of black everywhere there, but not on this one. So. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's put a little bit here, a little bit here, and see if I can. Get it to pick up a little more color. <clears throat> I don't think this may not be a good idea. I try and go straight down and then straight up. It's gonna push it out. I hope it, then it retracts back but creates a few little cells in the middle. It might not though, and that's okay. So it looks like that second one, so I definitely went down to the pillow that second time I went down. Bummer, because they have really bright colors everywhere else. Uh, the second time around, I got some down to that bottom layer, a little bit of that blue. So that's kind of nice because I don't really see any blue anywhere else. But I've got a lot of, oh, I've got a little bit of blue here. i got all five colors in this one. I don't have the blue in this one, but I've got the green, yellow, pink. Not a lot of that purple matter, though. i got the purple matter mixed in with the green there, which is nice. Purple matter's over here. So i got a pretty good variation of colors. I'm thinking spin. That's what I'm thinking because, yeah. And I don't even think I'm gonna, tr I don't think I'm gonna get it covered everywhere and that's okay. Let's see. And let's, I think I'll keep spinning the same direction. Normally I mix it up a little, but. <laughs> it's crazy.
I think I want to stop because I'm like I'm losing my really cool cells there. So I think I'm I'm done because I don't want more of those cells to fall off. So what I like to do now is kind of lift it off there. Um, I will put it on some little cups and then we can come down because I don't want it to dry on that at all. <clears throat> And then that would be too hard to lift up. So let's try this. My middle's kind of wonky, but kind of fun. All right. Just want to kind of show you what I got here. Okay. Oh, it's going to keep growing and expanding and maybe get ruined. I don't know. But it's kind of neat right now. So let's take a look. Take off my gloves. And we'll come on down. So that was a fun little experiment and definitely made a fun little pattern. Let me get this light out of the way. So there is my bottle pour Sheely technique. Thank you, Shelly Carruthers. And so here's the center, a little wonky, but also organic looking. I'm, I'm not terribly displeased with it. I like it. Um, and then we've got petal number one, petal number two. See, I got some really cool. I got the purple matter, green, blue, yellow, and pink in that one. I like it. Um, purple, blue, green, purple matter, pink in that one. Let's come over to this one. I lost a lot of it. That's why I wanted to stop spinning because a lot of it just kind of spun right off. But purple matter, green, yellow, and pink, but no blue in that one. And no blue in this, this petal either. But I've got the pink, purple matter, um, aqua, and yellow. And then in this one, this is the one I had to go back and hit up twice, this last one. So I got more white in this one just because I went, I got down to the pillow. A little unfortunate, but not terribly disappointing. But I did get a lot more blue in this one. So I got blue, purple matter, yellow. But the cells themselves don't have a lot of pink or teal aqua tiny 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 bit but you're really reaching for those <laughs> but so there we have it there is a pretty cool flower bottle pour shealy technique i'm happy i went back in and got my the tool that i used it's a revlon it's a hot air it's meant to have um the i don't know the name of it anymore but it's got hot air attachment uh hot Oh my gosh, round brushes that attach to the end here and blows hot air out. But then it's got a cool, low, and high. So I just blow it on the cool setting, um, which is still a high air force. And it works pretty good for me because I'm not very good. You saw me try and blow the middle. I'm not very good at blowing. Um, so I use, what's it? I use that and then I use my um, blow dryer to blow them out. So there we go. Not bad. Kind of cool. Definitely like a flower shape and kind of fun. Um, very abstracty and happy painting there. So I got a really happy color one I did here. And then I'll show you by contrast, a very, a swipe with very just soothing, calming colors. <laughs> so I have something for everyone today. Soothing, calming, happy flower. So <laughs> I hope you had fun watching this, um, tried something new. I'm afraid this is going to keep on growing out of control, but we'll see. I hope it dries nice. Um, stay tuned and, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you liked watching this video. I'll keep trying new things. And thanks, Shelly, for the inspiration. And uh, until we see each other again, have fun painting, everyone. Bye.